Hello everyone and welcome to the Ongoing Restoration. Today's video is about Satan's strategy of contention. Now Satan is the father of contention. And in 3 Nephi chapter 11 verse 29 the Savior teaches, He stirreth up the hearts of men to contend with anger one with another. The devil has learned from centuries of experience that where there is contention the Spirit of the Lord will depart. Ever since he convinced Cain to kill Abel, Satan has influenced siblings to quarrel. He also stirs up problems in marriages, among ward members, and between missionary companions. He delights in seeing good people argue. He tries to start family arguments right before church on Sunday, right before family home evening on Monday night, and whenever a couple plans to attend a temple session. His timing is predictable. When there is contention in your home or workplace, immediately stop whatever you are doing and seek to make peace. It doesn't matter who started it. Contention often begins with fault finding, and Satan takes away accountability. Joseph Smith taught that the devil flatters us that we are very righteous when we are feeding on the faults of others. When you think about it, self-righteousness is just a counterfeit for real righteousness. Satan loves to spread contention in the church. He specializes in pointing out the faults of church leaders. Joseph Smith warned the saints that the beginning step to apostasy is to lose confidence in the leaders of the church. Almost all anti-Latter-day Saint literature is based on lies about the character of Joseph Smith. The enemy works hard to discredit Joseph because the message of the Restoration hangs on the prophet's account of what happened in the sacred grove. The devil is working harder today than ever before to make members question their testimonies of the Restoration.